Hello guys, what's up? Let me guide you through my brand new 3D on your skinning add-on for Blender, which is pretty, pretty straightforward as it should be, as simple as possible. I try to be uh, very minimal and at the same time, uh, very flexible and powerful. Um, this add-on works from Blender 4.5 and Windows users watch out because for you, the add-on works on Blender 4.5.4. Uh, which is the latest uh, version that just got out now. I was waiting them to fix a bug and I found while developing this, this add-on here. So now you should be fine on version 4.5.4 on Windows, uh, Mac OS and Linux on Blender 4.5. You'll be, you're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. So as you can see, the add-on is presented here on the side panel, but you don't have to because we also have this nice pop-up window that I'm going to talk about a little bit later. So to start with, you can select the object you want to create on your skinning and press add selected. And now you are ready to generate. So let's generate for this guy. And as you can see, we have the only skinning for it. Okay. You can change the colors pretty straightforward. Let's see yellow and blue. Okay. You can change however you want. Um, and you don't have to always click on generate because it, let's say oh, I change my pose and then I have to come here. Let's see here and then press generate again. You don't have to always come here because we have these two little buttons that are uh, triggering modes. For example, let's talk about the generate on frame change. That what's going to happen is when you change your frame to another position and then you release, you finish the scrubbing, for example, it's going to generate for you. Okay. So you can move and say, oh, I want to generate it here, release. It's being generated for you. So if you tap the arrow keys, as well when you tap the arrow keys you can change uh you can rebake this on your skinning let me back to the, the classic colors here uh, what else ah by the way i'm, I'm using this uh, scrubbing which is a scrubbing that comes from another add-on uh, which is a built-in extension called grease pencil tools and he has this feature called timeline scrub which i love it because you can uh scrub the timeline directly in the 3D viewport. So I love this feature and I made the add-on works with that. So the other mode we have here is generate on tweak. Let's see how I could showcase that for you. So let's say you're going to use generate on tweak, which means that let's come back to this point here. Let's organize the window a little bit. So you can see that if I, if I delete these keyframes, Let's see what's going to happen. So as you can see, I've deleted some keyframes and every time you add keyframes, delete keyframes or tweak them here, the, the generation of the only skin will be triggered. So let's say I'm going to add a keyframe and I'm going to change, look into the camera like that. As you can see, the future already has updated for me. All right. Well, let's say I'm going to look back. I still can see that updating or I could give you a, a really quick example. Let's add a UV sphere and let's give a color to it. I think so let's add a new, new material and let's say the color is going to be, um, pink. Let me see in the viewport, this color pink. Okay. Or maybe let's say a darker color. So I have this keyframe and then let's move my timeline here and add another keyframe for this ball. Now our ball is doing this. Let's add this ball as a on your skinning object so we can generate. So let's take a look when I generate for the ball, you can see the only skin being created. And let's say now we are going to add another keyframe. Now you can see what's, what's going to happen. Uh, every time I tweak my keyframes, I'm going to see that. So let's tweak this position. And there we go. I'm tweaking the position. And also we have the generate on frame change enabled. So when I'm changing the frame, a new generation happens. And when I'm tweaking my animation, I can see what's going to happen to it. Right? So let's say I want to overshoot a little bit. I can do that. And I can see the ball being overshoot. So, mm. Okay, 
So this is generate on tweak. Let's remove this sphere and let's take a look at another feature we have uh, because we can also focus on vertex groups. So let's say mm, I cannot edit this object right here because it is a library override, which is really good because this 3D audience skinning add-on works with library overrides. You don't have to work directly on the original character. You don't have to have the original mesh available for you to work with that. But in this case, I want to create a new vertex group. So I will make this a local object to demonstrate how we can create vertex groups. Now I can enter edit mode. So let's say we are going to create a, a new group, a new vertex group. And let's call that group head. Okay, we have a head vertex group. Let's come back to our character right here. And let's generate. As you can see now, it's generating for full body. Right? But let's say I want to generate only for the head. You can come here on the vertex group section and ask head. Now, when you generate only the head, is going to create on your skinnings for you. So you can see all these movements of its head. Let's increase the number of before and after so you can see that happening for before and after. We have 10 frames before and 10 frames after. And at the moment, as you can see, if I bake here my own skinning and I and I pass through that section, the only skinning stays on the screen. Uh, for now, I kept simple as possible. That might change in the future. But if you enter on Eevee, for example, on Eevee, you are going to see that they appear. And when you pass through, they will disappear. So in Eevee, you have this behavior. But in solid mode, they will stay. And you're going to see this. Let me come back one frame here. Let's untoggle that and generate from here. So as you can see, this one is gray, which means it was generated on this position, right? So we're gonna show as gray for you. So this is our 3D on skinning. I try to kept it as simple as possible. Here you can clear the cache and there are other tweakings you can do here. Let's try to demonstrate that really quickly. So let's, let's erase or maybe let's showcase that you can invert your vertex group. So now you have a head missing from the only skinning. And what about these options here? So this is going to toggle in front. So the can object, which is the source of the search that's generating this only skinning, is going to be in front of the only skinning. If you toggle that off, you're going to see the only skinning in front of the origin of the object that is generating the only skinning. So this little button helps you to select the object. So now I know that is this object right here. Um, and this object bypass object button gonna prevent this object to be generated on the only skinning. So I turn it off and now it's not generating anything because I don't have other objects here to, gener to generate uh, from. So this is a by bypass because sometimes you have many objects and you don't want to remove the object from the list. You just want to temporarily uh, bypass that object. So this is why I kept this little bypass object, object button here. And of course, before I forget, you have this pop-up window that you actually don't even have to use the side panel, which I kindly have left on the preferences. So because I know people don't like to put add-ons here on the side, so then I came here and say, hey, don't show the add-on on the side panel because I will use only the pop-up. Because from here you can do anything, right? If I click here, then the, the onion is skinning going to be in front. Sometimes let's say, let's add another object here. The cylinder, the cylinder is behind the Spider-Man, but then you are getting annoyed that, or maybe 
this is in front of our character and then you are getting annoyed that you can't see the only skinning through so if you click here you're going to see the only skinning through the objects that are in front actually in front of your only skinning so you can see through right these are in front options for the only skinning mesh and this in front for the, the source object that is generating the only skinning Oh, well, I've talked too much, and I think I have presented all the features we have in this first version. The add-on is pretty straightforward. For now, it's as simple as possible, as minimal as possible. And if you guys like, we can grow up this is as a tool, and we can get feedback from you and add new features and make your life easier. So, so yeah, that is 3D Onion Skinning, a pretty cool add-on. For Blender 4.5 and forward. All right. Thank you for watching. Hope you like it. Ciao.